Hello, and welcome to part two of our Fraser adventure. In case you missed out on part one, the link will be in the description or in the top right corner of your screen. In this episode, we are faced with a few challenges on our epic journey to the lighthouse, which is in the northern end of the island. Will we make it? Just have to wait and find out. So, join us as we explore this magnificent island, and I hope you enjoy the video. Good morning, everybody. Amazing morning here on Fraser Island. I just took a couple of steps away from the camp. Try not to wake anybody up. I think the, the tide is going out. There's a, there's a lot more beach than last night, which is a good thing because uh, we really wanted to take the ride to the uh, Great Sandy Lighthouse uh, north of Fraser Island today. And. Uh, if we can get a head start with the low tide, that would be great. I think the tide's coming up, huh? Yeah. Must be. I don't know. <laughs> we just left camp uh, and we're right next to Eli Creek now. Uh, Lucas is driving and uh, we're gonna stop at uh, Cathedral Village uh, for a second to see if we can find um, a gas hose uh, for uh, the, the stove. Uh, we broke one last night so uh, we're gonna need a replacement to uh, see if they carry anything like that. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll continue on, see if we can get to the lighthouse today. Oh, 
this amazing island pretty much all to ourselves. There's only a couple of cars here and there, but it's not normally what you see on Fraser Island if it's, uh, if it's a holiday or if it's a weekend. There's a lot of people usually coming here, uh, especially to see Eli Creek and uh, Lake Mackenzie. past the Indian Head and uh, we're heading uh, to Orchid Beach. From there, um, Angala Rocks and hopefully the lighthouse. I guess anything can happen, you know, considering we how little luck we had last time we were here, you know. Better not yeah. promise anything, uh, whether we <laughs> whether we get there or not. Let's just hope it, uh, it all works out. Oh, bumpy. It's amazing. There's a bit of a slow crawl through these uh, woods, but uh, it's a, it's very pleasant. The weather is amazing. I think uh, it's perfect for, for us now. So Jesse told me that there's a high chance for a storm uh, tonight. Uh oh. Tonight? Think, yeah, and tomorrow it's gonna be raining as well. Oh no. I don't know how much, but. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. It is what it is. It is what it is. We might make it to that uh, Mackenzie tomorrow. We'll see. Even if it is raining, it's not the end of the world. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it. So what happened? I didn't feel bad. Okay. So, we lost the belt and then power steering and power's overheating, so... Well, you got a spare, right? Yeah. Okay. Got a spare going on. Awesome. All right, good stuff. Is that oil just leaking? No, it's the belt going in. Well, well. After a few futile attempts to uh, get that Land Rover fixed up, the, the bearing is gone and uh, there are no spares around us now. So I think we're going to leave it here for a couple of days go back to the mainland and uh, pick up a, a spare bearing uh, from Rainbow Beach and then uh, I guess we're gonna have to pay the the barge and come back again and uh, uh, I think Bob can fix it up if he has the the spare part yeah adventure we'll see how that goes All right, so with only two vehicles we uh, continue our going further to this uh, orchid beach here and um, maybe getting an ice cream what do you think <laughs> <laughs> oh i think it's a nice idea <laughs> the heroes nah just him the hero <laughs> <laughs> the car stuffer was it you driving no. yeah. He killed it. Let's just blame the new guy. Oh, he <laughs> was he was driving it's his car. <laughs> well, we're sort of stuck, aren't we? So it's uh, it's been an adventurous day so far. We had that issue with uh, one of the defenders. Uh, we stopped by here to chill on the beach uh, until the, the tide goes back down again and now I think uh, we're gonna go back and uh, visit champagne pools for a little bit that's the plan now let's see if that works out we keep changing our plans but you know at least we're documenting it and uh, we're enjoying this lovely weather out here well I don't know if you can see this but I got some really heavy burns yesterday the worst thing at the moment would be driving back at night. 
Oh, which I don't. Too bad. No, not that bad. It's already going out. So. Ah, oh, well then we're it's good. Bad. I'm not worried about the tide. I'm worried about another vehicle. Now that I've jinxed it. Don't say things like that. I think we're all good. These two vehicles are perfect. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Chill out at Champagne for a couple of hours and yeah. shoot up. Do that. Do Ningala. Oh, yeah. Go for a walk at Lighthouse. Come back. Sounds good to me. Let's do it. Nico. My friend. How are you doing? Oh, doing, doing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think this is called Wadi Point. Not a hundred percent, but yeah, there's a lot of people swimming here, uh, enjoying this beautiful piece of beach here. Because I think there's uh, there's no sharks or anything. This seems like um, some kind of a um, like a little channel that goes through, and there's like another beach on the other side uh, towards the open ocean. The other car stopped uh, to see this guy with the uh, with the Land Rover here. Perhaps he's got some spares as well. So you know, they might be able to fix the car. Who knows? It's worth checking. That's true. Yeah. I don't know. Champagne pools though. That's where we're going now. to separate from the guys uh, because Nathaniel and his dad found out that there might be a guy who has a spare part that they need uh, back at Orchid Beach so they'll head over there now and uh, we'll just chill here at the beautiful Indian head waiting for them for a little bit it's been a long day even though it looks beautiful and everything it was more of a chore today really than anything else we're left with with the wish to see this lighthouse on top of Fraser Island, but it wasn't meant to be again. Doesn't matter, there's always next time. Anyways, catch up with you soon from our next little spot. They've been here all by themselves. Have a look. Sorry about the audio. I know it's gonna be frustrating. We just got some great news. I was just on the radio with Nathaniel and I just tried to, you know, see if they're close by and in the range of the radio and it turns out they got the car fixed, Bob got it fixed up, now they're on their way here. That is pretty epic. Uh, this day is turning out to be uh, pretty damn good because that little problem could have been a costly experience 
just a tow truck to come over there and pick them up would have been uh, what was it sixteen hundred fifty dollars but it's all good it's all done and they're coming here oh, that's unbelievable Let's see if I can go catch up to them. You want to catch up to them? Because yeah. they just launched it up there. <laughs> ah. They're going back to camp thinking. Yeah, I don't think they know. Oh, you didn't tell them. Oh, that's right, well, you couldn't have. Okay, well, I mean, we're going to pack up as well if you know, guys are not going to stay. It is nice, but I went swimming. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. In the ocean? I couldn't help it, it was so nice. Oh. I was the only one here on the whole beach, it was so cool. Finally. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right, we'll follow in a second then. Where is it? Awesome. You know where we're going? Uh, we'll figure it out. What have we got there? Tell us. Look at that. What is that? Marshmallow, marshmallow with the little sweet here. Oh, Haribo gummy bear. This is all uh, Beth's idea, by the way. She's the inventor of the gummy bear marshmallow uh, merge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fusion. Fusion. <laughs> We have a gummy bear, we have a marshmallow. So this is how to make this. Now the stick goes through both, so they both stay. Let's give it a go. Okay, not, not a lot. The gummy bear is about to trip. And check this out, this is the level where you want it. So this is what happens. Oh my god, so bully! <laughs> Look at the fusion here. We have the gummy bear attached to the marshmallow, giving it extra flavor. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, that kind of you. Mm. Nice, huh? Mmm. I wow. put I put I from the inside. On the inside, good idea. Yeah, yeah, not bad. Nice. after a, a really beautiful morning and great night's sleep we're just uh, quickly packing up Lucas and I we are going today but before we go we're gonna visit Lake Mackenzie so stick around and have a look at Lake Mackenzie unfortunately as I said previously we have been unable to reach that lighthouse on the top of Fraser Island 
yet again. But you know, it's maybe a, it it could be a positive thing because that'll be one thing that we still have to do on another trip. And you know, any chance I get to come back here, I'll take it for sure. Other than that, it's been wonderful here. Everything was really well organized. Bethany did this menu that was incredible. Uh, for the whole week, every meal was, uh, you know, like planned and prepared, and they bought a lot of stuff for uh, for all of us. I'm very jealous that they uh, they're staying on the island for another four days, but we have to get back to reality, unfortunately. Still, some more fun to be had on the island, and we'll see you at Life Mackenzie. So we just left that campsite, uh, Lucas and I already uh, and packed, everybody else uh, is coming with us to Lake Mackenzie, uh, but we're making a, a quick stop at Yurong to uh, refuel. Uh, Nathaniel's actually going back to the campsite because uh, we forgot one jerry can of diesel over there, so he's bringing that over here to Yurong where we'll uh, refuel. After that we have another... Uh, Probably another three, four kilometers to the turn off to the inland track to Lake Mackenzie. Now that inland track is another 15 kilometers after that. Although uh, Lake Mackenzie looks better in sunlight, we'll just see if we get those beautiful blue colors um, this time with the, with the cloud cover on. about the weather but what can you do and that's a great breakfast mm. I got about 20% better here if you want to take some underwater pictures or video Alright, so here we are driving through the jungle. We're on our way back to uh, Yurong. Uh, Lucas and I are obviously having to return back to Brisbane tonight. This uh, concludes kind of our adventure of Fraser. Uh, three days in Fraser Island. Very nice. We hope you enjoyed this two-part Fraser adventure video. We'd love to hear your experiences if you've been to Fraser before and we'll gladly answer any questions that you may have if you're planning a trip there soon. 
If this video has inspired you to get out there and take on this adventure yourselves, or you found some of the information we provided useful, do let us know by hitting that like button. As a final tip for all you beginners out there, make sure you give your vehicle a thorough wash after the trip is done. The salty water and sand are some of the biggest culprits in causing formation of rust. Take care of your car and yourselves and we'll see you in the next one.